Hi, this is Kay, and I'm going to show you how to make a cut file for your rubber stamps. The first thing we need to do is stamp our image on a piece of white paper, nice and crisp with black ink, so that we can scan it. I've already done that, and pull it up in the scanner here. I'm going to scan mine at 150 dpi and grayscale. Um, that's not terribly critical, but that's just how I do it in the interest of time. I've already scanned this. I've saved it to my desktop. And so I'm going to find that file right here, and I'm going to drag it onto my mat. I could have also gone to the File menu and used Merge and brought it in that way. Okay, I know that the stamp is about 3 inches long. This says 3.475, but that's because it's counting all this white space. So I'm confident that that's about 3 inches. I could use the grid or measure it with um, a rectangle, but I'm pretty confident about this method as long as I'm using JPEG. So I'm going to go with that. So the next thing I'm going to do is zoom in so you can see what we're doing a little bit better. Okay, so I'm going to go to the Trace window, click on Select Trace Area, and drag all the way around my stamp. That looks pretty good, but I'm going to adjust this a little bit, make sure that I've got a nice solid yellow outline around the outside. This is an easy stamp to do because it does have a nice solid outline, and I'm going to tell it to trace. Now, there is my traced version, and so this is easier for you to see, I'm going to turn the bike blue, and I'm going to turn the outline off, and now we're going to get ready to give this an offset. So go to the offset button, then I offset window button. Then I click on Offset, and I'm going to adjust this. There's, there's uh, actually three ways I can do this. I can slide this slider, I can type a number in here and click Return, or I can do this toggle here. So it's whatever you prefer. And I don't want any detail in the spokes, but I want a pretty tight cut there. So it looks like point four five will give me just what I need. So there's my outline. I'm happy with it. Just to double check, I'm going to put it up against my original scan. This is uh, what my outline will look like. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is back out a little bit so you can see the edges. I'm going to... I want this to stay with my file, and I want this to stay with my file in case I decide I want a different size offset next time. So now I've got this, and I can tell it, for instance, to fill the page, and now I can cut a whole page full of mats and then stamp on them. Or I can use the shape for my new stamp and cut technique, which I'll have instructions on my blog for. Now I mentioned this was a very straightforward stamp because it had a nice crisp outline, but what if you don't? What if you have what an open design stamp? Well, I want to show you a couple of these kinds too. So these I've already scanned in. We're going to do the same thing. Go to the Trace menu, select Trace Area, make sure we've got a nice solid yellow, tell it to trace. I'm going to separate that. I'm going to recolor this so that you can see the contrast. Ignore that. that and then I'm going to go to my offset again. And I'm going to bring this down 
until I get rid of all those inner details. All the red disappears. So there I have that. So I can tell it to apply, but uh, that's not really what I want. I want a more a tighter offset than that. So what I'm going to do is with this this outer offset still unselected, I'm going to hit internal offset, and then I'm going to adjust this to bring it in closer. So I can go right up to the edge of that if I want, or even cut a little bit in if I don't want any white space. So just using the offsets, I get um, just about anything I want out of this. And there's, you notice with this method, I don't use Photoshop, I don't use anything else. I get a perfect cut every time. All right, so again, I'm going to save all these pieces that I might want later. And let's look at the fountain here. This was a little bit different. I'm going to go to select trace area. Grab that. Run up my threshold until I get all the little water dots. Alright, and this one I don't need any of the inside, so I'm just going to tell it to trace the outer edge. And here's what I have, but that's way too detailed to cut. So, let's recolor it for convenience again. Now, let's see, that color's not going to give me enough contrast. We'll do the green again. Okay, turn off the line color. Then we're going to go to our offset one more time. Same procedure. You want to go down until you don't see any detail. That looks good. If that's okay, we can stick with that. If it's not, we can use the internal offset to do a line closer in. And apply that. And there I have a nice tight cut. And I can compare that to the original stamp just to make sure. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so that's how you make a outline for a more complex stamp very easily, just using offset and internal offset without any additional software. So now you know how to make a cut line to match your stamps that you can use to cut and then stamp or to stamp and cut with my new technique that you'll find out about on my blog. Thanks for watching.